Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are surrounded by... And the Warhawks will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. And now we'll get a look at this offense for the first time today. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it, but it's just football. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Trying play action. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. And it's picked off. He goes down right there, but not before coming up with a big interception. Sometimes the quarterback puts that zip on it, and you can hear it. And sometimes he uses the lob wedge where it takes a little time to get there. That time, he used the lob wedge, and the defender came in and made the interception. Big play for this defense early. Line gets set, first down. Looking to throw, it's Moody. They're bringing heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And those outside linebackers nowadays, they're so fast. They got to cover ground. But you can blitz them off the edge, and they can get after quarterbacks. Versatile. That's why they're getting drafted so high in the NFL and getting paid all that money. So they'll try to make up some of that ground on second down from the 16. They'll leave it with him. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Unloads to the wideout. And that ball is picked off. Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first down at the 39. You know, after watching that interception, I just wonder if this kid's too amped up tonight. He was so excited to take the field. He thought this was going to be a game that he could stat it up. He's going to have to do a better job tonight with his decision-making. That is not how you want to start a game. And now this offense will take the field again. Takes the handoff, and he's going right. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to him again. Works his way ahead for about three yards, stopped at the 23. Got three on first down at second and seven. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Looks as if they'll send out the field goal unit. Never a doubt. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Uel Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. 
After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this round. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Smith takes the handoff. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Not able to hook up there. Incomplete. In the dead center of the field as they try to convert this third and short. To the air. It's Booty. He finds his man. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. The Warhawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback on the keeper. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Let's see what they've got on second down. Hand off from the shotgun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. Tried to give it another body English, but he missed it. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. the offense onto the field again. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Brings up second down. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. From the gun, running back gets to give. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Gets it out fast. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. He completes the pass, but short of the sticks. Results the same. Here comes the punt team. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down the end. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. of time left and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period a third and long coming up here pressure coming fires to the wide out it's caught downfield and with that effort they pick up a fresh set of downs they have it at the 34 yard line now on the counter makes his man miss and he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pick up there Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They'll stop him at the 46 after a five-yard pickup. And the Warhawks look to keep this drive humming. 
He got a little antsy at the line of scrimmage, and they'll move him back. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misfire, now on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Pulls and fired complete. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On his way back from the 20. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. First down here for the offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Complete downfield. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up. And they'll move the chains with the first down. Big play out of the gate to start this drive. And here they come again. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. And the runner is down, and so is the flag. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And here comes the offense on second down. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Finds his tight end. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. He fires one deep over the middle. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Nice throw, great catch, easy glide into the end zone for the touchdown. And how about the bomb, the long field all the way across the field. Big time play, big time throw. Receiver runs underneath it, takes it to the house. Huge play for this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. The home team is just destroying the competition today. And at this rate, I'm not sure it won't get worse. The away team has done nothing to stop this offense. This is ugly today. He's got it on the left. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. How great is it to have a running back who can basically run your entire route tree? You don't see a lot of guys line up and then run vertically down the field, get open, and make a big play. This dude is special. Using the quick game, they get him down after he makes a catch. The Warhawks racing to the line in the hurry up. Running back searching for a hole. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. And the Warhawks come to the line with a new set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. They'll go to the ground. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. Trying to pick up a first down. Scanning the field, it's Booty. They're working that left side. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. 
Running play to the left, looking for the end zone here. Mark it off as a six-yard gain down to the six-yard line. About to have the ninth snap on this drive. You don't want to settle for a field goal. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And he missed it. No good. Guys, that field goal could loom large, missing an opportunity to get within a touchdown. We're still sitting on a 10-point game. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. He's going to pass. Get it out on the screen. He stepped out of bounds after a huge play, but hang on just a second. Defense might get bailed out here by a flag. I bet it felt good to hit that quarterback late until you got an earful from the coach and cost your defense 15. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning from the gun, running back on the move. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Looking to throw for it. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. He got it. And now the lead is extended a little far. After the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. UL Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. So you got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut into a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. Looking to pass. It's Booty. Sends it downfield. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Couldn't get anything done on first down. Now second and 10 from the 46. He's looking to throw. Complete to the left. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. They'll run the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. With completion a little short of the sticks, it's second down. He's looking to throw. He makes the connection. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. The Warhawks will have it first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a space. Unleashes one deep. Just about picked off in the end zone, and that would have put a stop to this scoring threat. Instead, it'll be second down. He's looking to throw. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions have them staring at third and ten. Feeling some heat. 
And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. So they'll send out the field goal unit. The holder will put it down on the right hash. A 33-yard try. It's good. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Inside, 30 seconds to play here in the second quarter. They've got it first and 10. Spits it out to the back. Got his man on the right. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. Looking to move it through the air. Just a short pass to the tight end. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you... Rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere, and I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense, and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Wide receiver shows motion. The give out of the gun. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. And the Warhawks will hustle to the line. Now the play fake. He lobs one high down the left side. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. Got some room to run. He's at the 30. The 10. Touchdown. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I could be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Cal is currently up big right now in a game they'll be talking about in Berkeley for some time. They're up by 20 over Stanford. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. 
He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Back to throw. It's Moody. Coming after it. And as he throws. And he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception. That, that really wasn't his best throw. I tell you what, you got to choose when you're going to zip it in there and sometimes put some air underneath it. He chose the wrong one, put a little too much air underneath it. Defensive player makes the nice pick. Now this offense is back on the field. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Trying to get them out flanked on the jet sweep. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it from the gun. Across the 25, he's got room. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. They get to the line quickly. Wide out in motion. Right back to the well. And he runs it all the way down to the three before they get it. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Brings up second down. Just when they're looking run, now up top. He let that thing fly quickly, but he couldn't make the connection. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. And it's right down the boulevard. And that lead grows even bigger. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Uel Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Makes the quick grab. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Dropping back, it's Moody. No. And the defense has got it, and they're bringing it back. It's a country fumble, meaning there's a lot of open space, and that's what you do with it. Scoop it up and score with it. Touchdown. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the QB to the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up, take it all the way back to the house for six. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. On the run from inside his own five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. First and ten. He wants to start this drive with a pass. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the misconnection, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. 
Makes a catch and knocked down. Facing a third down is short from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Holds it in. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to pass. It's Moody. Throwing right. Makes a connection. They get him down at the 34-yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pickup and a first down. He'll do it himself. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Sixth play of the drive coming up. The give is to Smith. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. The Warhawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Leaves it with the back. Fighting off the defender. Working his way and keeping those legs moving. Picks up five down to the 14. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Looking to throw. They're setting up the screen. There to make the tackle. And with that, we'll head to the fourth quarter. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. And the Warhawks will try to punch it in on first and goal. Got it behind the line. It's Griffin. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. It's now second and goal. Dialing up a second down pass play. Throw to the end zone. It's picked off. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive started. Trying to find his man on first down. Throws toward the end zone. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. And now on second down for this offense. The give on the inside. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Now lining up to snap it in the red zone. Bully ball on third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So here comes the field goal unit once again. They've already kicked three tonight. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand got to make the opponent pay for turning the football over. And while this team would have liked to have scored a touchdown off that pick, I think they're pretty happy getting the field. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. 
Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions. But I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did on the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it. Move on. Play the next play. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. He's looking to throw it. And this is going to be caught. The and wait just a second. The official is going to take a second look at this one. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence. And the officials will change the call. And the pass is incomplete, but it might not matter. Flag is down, and it looked as if the defense was roughing up that receiver. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Looking to throw it again. Going downfield for the big play. And he makes the catch inside the 10. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. And that big gainer on the last one has them ready to go from inside the 10. Looking for a man. It's Booty. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And you try to catch him off bounce, maybe on first down and goal right here, a situation where maybe you sneak in a pass. Defense was ready, got the sack. Now, now you got to be a little bit more creative now that you got the negative play. The offense, I know you've worked this all week. you got to get ready to execute in the red zone. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Turning to the running game here on third and goal. Corralled and brought down by the defense. A fourth quarter field goal down by this much. And that's a lot like putting a lipstick on the proverbial pig. Doesn't do much to change the looks. Got to score the touchdown on fourth and goal. And it's going to be batted down. They'll turn it over on down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Finds his way ahead for six and a little breathing room to the 17. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He leaves it with his back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Second down coming up. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. He's up to 86 yards rushing, and that should be no surprise. He's been among the nation's elite all season. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? Brings up second down. Fast motion from the offense. Quick pass on the fly motion. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Makes the grab. The expressway is wide open. And they're going to put another one into the end zone as they just keep piling points on the scoreboard.
complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day, putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Hey, guys, got a final score in a big top 25 matchup. Tennessee opened up a can. And how many times can you say you went into someone else's building and beat them by double digits? It's what happened today, and the rest of college football should take notice. Each week in college football, the tests are just so tough. And we found that out again today, guys, with another ranked team going down. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. He wants to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Griffin. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. The Warhawks have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. Safe completion on the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. To throw, it's Moody. Getting... And here's a fumble way behind the line. Well, the offense ought to go buy a lottery ticket because that ball somehow bounced right back to them. They'll keep it. Man, those are backbreakers. Defensively, you get so excited. You force the fumble, I'm going to get a turnover. And the offense falls out. They recovered their own fumble, but now it's third down. From the gun, wants to pass. A shot toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And the Warhawks will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. They'll get this drive going from the 17. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Leaves it with the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Now on third down for this offense. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent, and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much, so you take the field against your rival, and you're able to put up forth a performance like that. That is worth its weight in gold, David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team and bragging rights now for one. Bragging rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always there's a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on to the next game, focus in on this next one. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.